Like, if this is his memo thing, why wouldn't he just it's have makeup on himself? Match the impression of the crime scene. No, that's not it. No. No, it's right here. Lars was out in the rain last night. Or in the morning. You never know. Same old, same old. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. I like how everybody just... Let's go do whatever the hell he wants. They never question him whatsoever about, yo, what are you doing in my house? the picture was turned down. They're just always saying, yeah, 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 you're going to be in the house. Nope. Even if they do object, it's like, it's not even that big of a deal. But that's not of any of my concern. Really, they have stuff in here that it's like little kid stuff. Little kids things are not necessary in this kind of case. This is New Testament. It's a little cross from a little girl, probably. Mm. Go outside. Let's go see that boat. Let's go see that boat right now. Apparently, they have a dog out here. There you go. Looks like a match with the ligature marks. There you go. I was waiting exactly for that. I am out. Peace. I must talk to the man. The man, the myth, the legend. Hair husband. Come on, let me talk to him. Press X. For there the you record, go. Mr. Terrelson, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Oh, no, 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 no. B. If you have more questions, I'd rather get this over with now. No! Oh, I messed up. No, I messed up. Oh, okay, never mind. I did not mess up. I want to use the phone. Okay, thought I messed up real big. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks. Okay. That's exactly what we need to do. Now let's talk to him. Can't believe I almost messed that up. Oh, that would have been really bad. I'm trying to get that five star. Alright, the possible suspects. You're a suspect of your killer wife whatever she's 40 something apparently she, she did look old when i saw her but i'm sure when you die you make you make yourself look older do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife no everyone loved teresa she was so full of life it can't be anyone who knew her that's a goddamn line you know it you know it's a lie I know it's a lie, so let's not try to lie to each other right now. I think you're lying, Lars. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? Your wife was strangled with triple braid rope. The bowline from your boat is a perfect match. 
Look, I know this looks bad. It's not even proof you killed her. It's just you had the same rope. I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I let her go. Well, alibis for Lars. So, where were you at when your wife was dying and you couldn't help her? Remember that. Always remember. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right. Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Mm hmm. I really doubt that. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down in North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Um, victim state of mind? I don't even know what that means. But it has something to do with state of mind. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Ah, uh, that's what it means. Yeah, I think she was. Really? We can't prove that one? I don't think we can. I don't think. Let me see my notebook real quick. That's not even a thing here. Never mind. I don't have any proof to make her think that they were not happy at home. So, doubt. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30. Maybe a little earlier. Last contact with victim, your wife that you hate because she's crazy. Because she wants to go out dancing. But now it's your fault she's dead. Remember that again. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. That's a goddamn lie. It was raining. You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? You were out in the rain. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. <sighs> Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Terrelson. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to broads, you'll be giving in to them your entire life. Sounds like the Terrelson broad had her last drink at Baron's Bar. We should check the place out. Yes, we should. Appreciate your time, sir. Yes, you appreciate this your guy's amazing story? time. Kind of rings true. That's the guy from the yes, kind of does, Phelps. Why would he lie about hanging out with a cute little brunette? I know you guys are going to have a conversation about something dumb. About the murders, so you better have it already. Well, it's hard, dude. Come on. No? Okay, so we're gonna have a conversation about. Um. Well. Please. I'm. What is this? Come on. Radio. No, no, it's right here. I'm talking about nothing. Made the conversation go faster. They didn't even have a conversation. Only that. It only rings true. You're just kind of bull. They should have more than that. The hell? Who's talking about the mail over here? There's nobody even here. Gents, drink? I don't drink, sir. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. 
They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Mm-hmm. Well, last contact with the victim. Last time you seen her, I seen her, we all seen her. Seen. Her. Bada bing, bada boom. You guys are not even that old part. Maybe like 10 years. No, she was, he was like, what, 45? So that's 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Seven years. Seven years is a good amount. Anyway, last time you seen the victim. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. Uh, yes, that has to be true, sort of, because she probably died, what, around 2 o'clock? So, what, it took her three hours? Three hours and she lived for a little bit? Why would she even take a bus? That's so weird of her. On foot? In a car? By bus? How was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. Oh, I'm so glad you were so... You like her. Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. There you go. Okay. That was very useful. Uh, Jorgrint Vangrint, a male suspect. Who do you think killed her? I want to know. You want to know. We all want to know who killed her. This is why we have jobs. Who was she with? We've had what reports about doing a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. Hmm. He's a little bit of a liar. Look at him. His smug face. He's like, yeah, it could have happened. And it couldn't have happened. But that's not, that's not what we're here for, mister. It's not what we're here for. It's doubt. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over her. Promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy? is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Amazing, okay. And now your yellow cab, 3591. What about it? Don't even know what the hell we're asking about it. Where'd Any it go, idea probably? Where she was headed? Yeah, there you go. Nope. I didn't get that. Yeah, he's probably telling the truth, cause he's looking me in the eye. And, um, why would he lie about this? Like, if he wrote down the number and he said he liked Teresa, I don't know how much he liked her, but he liked her enough, apparently. It's part of telling the truth, so it's true. The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And yeah, she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help, Mr. Bluff. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. This is Bates. That's him. LAPD, don't make me chase you, shitbird. Can't let the son of a bitch get away. Oh, amazing. I'm glad we have to run after him. Bates, you just want to talk. Oh, wow. Come on. He, he, I thought you were going to leave me there to close what this guy will pull when he's cornered. We could have a killer on our hands. Wow, you lost your hat again, dude. I guess. I'm trying to get this five star. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. I'm trying to get this five star and this hitting everything. I don't everything. think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Please just shoot him already. Hit him, Cole! Spin Don't him make out. me lose my five stars because he's hitting every single thing. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires! If you can do that right now. Like, look, he's right there. I'm not even looking at this, bro. Constant. There you go. Hit him! Clean this oh, asshole off the hits road. more as I wanted All you. Right. Alright, you got me! I've had enough. Take out the gun. Go, go, go. Show me your hands! 
I like how okay, the face. car gets bloody. You're gonna answer some questions. I have a choice in this. Uh, contact with victim. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. And your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? His smug ass face. Now, you would think his face is all messed up because he just got into an accident. We saw that. Like, we just saw that. Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell us what we want to know. She was okay. Drunk. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. Uh, content of movement. Or movements. Bullshit. Blah, blah, blah. Movement. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. That's bullshit. You're a little lion ass. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. Yes, that's our car right there. Let's go talk to our our operator, API, whatever she is. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Were there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Beaudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy Able Seaman, has information relevant to your case. Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. Could be our man. Thanks, ma'am. Alright, let's go find that yellow taxi. I'm pretty yeah. sure they would just tell us, Yo, yellow taxi, we found it. We're following it. It's over here. So, we'll just drive over here, but we won't actually be in it. There you go. That was real fast. On your APB regarding yellow cab number three five nine one. The vehicle has been identified at a gas station. Now heading west on Seventh Street. 